Hey everyone, what's going on? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last time, we made back to Trent, and we were about to save him, but then we realized we were out of time. And then I said the end of the episode. This time, just jump right into it and heal Trent. Replenishes all HP or saves a dying tree god as he uses the Hermes water. A lot of Hermes seeped into Trent. So it goes from like twilight, -y. but I guess that is really not supposed to be like twilight, -y, but I guess it was just made to look the trees look like they're dying. It does look like it was more like sunset to me though. I feel great power spreading through me. Vroom! Life flows within me again, once again. Tread! <laughs> Damn shifty eyes. As you have recovered, so has our forest. I am sorry to have worried you so, Laurel. And you, young ones, did you have a favor to ask of me? Mm, no, okay, yes. Yes, Trey, you must turn the people of Klima into trees again. I mean, the humans again. Yes, that's right, I must hurry. Yay, this victorious music! Wow, that was a lot better than the last time we saw him weekly trying to save the people. That should do it. The people of Kalima are cursed no more. Tread did not always possess that ho this horrible power. It only started when those strange gemstones fell from the sky. Um, huh, yeah, who, who asked what could have caused that? <laughs> Gems from the sky, do you think he means synergy stones? Yes, Garrett, that is obviously what he means. Do you really think that synergy stones caused all of this trouble? I was indeed angry that people had laid waste to my forest, had even taken their axes to me. Then those gems fell into my branches. And all of a sudden, my fury overwhelmed me and I was lost in anger. The gem reached me when I was filled with sorrow. Our actions spoke our heart's desires, but we had no idea. Those gems twisted my anchor to a force beyond my control. So interesting, the Synergy Stone's kind of like... Um... No, what's the one I'm looking for? If they like maximize the effects of like the feelings that are feeling at, what they were feeling at the time, they what, what they it's an ex word. I know it is. <laughs> Have any of those saplings been transformed by those stones, Tret? Have any of the saplings? What? No, only the elder trees were affected in the falling synergy stones. Oh, I see. There are others that this happened to. So the same thing could be happening elsewhere. You must have fought many monsters on your way here. Those monsters, maybe they're just animals that were... Once they were pure of heart, <clears throat> those gems have brought a great evil to this world. So, the animals were turned to monsters. Oh, Laurel, you were given powers too? Different from my own, but stemming from the same source. Laurel, what in the world are you doing? Wait, you'll soon see. What did you see, Laurel? Laurel? Is it Laurel? I don't know. It's true. Even the animals have become monsters, and beyond the river... The river that feeds our forest? Yes, an evil forest has risen up to the south of the river. Will they be heading south across the river? Yup. Probably. The area will only grow more dangerous as time passes. If you must go, you'd better hurry. And just like that. Are you a great debt? You have saved Kalima, the forest, and me. May your roots dig deep and your branches reach high. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Now, now that I have... Such power, no axe shall ever touch me again. You may depart with no worries. And then he closes his eye. Oh, God, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get out of here! Uh uh. Good lord. Oh, I want to mind read you. <laughs> uh, I know that I cannot stop you, but please be careful beyond the river. Just say something like that, as if he knows that we could hear him, his thoughts. The force of Klima is alive once again, thanks to you. We shall protect the force from now on. Must be horrible beyond the You guys are doing a horrible job. This monster's attacking me as soon as I'm done talking to you guys. I'm sorry about you and your friends, Isaac. 
Once again, talking as if they can understand, which they might be able to, to be honest. Not entirely sure. Hey, let's teleport out of here. There we go. That's much easier than running through and being attacked a million times again. Oh, we're gonna be attacked, aren't we? It's gonna happen. Oh my god. And just like that, Kalima has been turned back into a bunch of people. This is Kalima, the village of lumberjacks. I'll shout it out loud. This is Kalima! <laughs> you should be happy about that. That's what turned you trees, man. <laughs> for a while, I thought I'd never be able to see it, but I have to see it. I'm going all my life for this moment. So now the village is actually alive and happy. It's great. We rely on the forest so much, and yet we, we hurt the sacred tree. Maybe we could work to restore harmony in the forest now. That'd be good. The forest trees are alive, just as we are. <clears throat> I didn't mind being a tree. Water never tasted so good. <laughs> if we were all trees, there'd be no more wars. Because we'd be trees. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Um, Alright, there's a few other things. Actually, the only thing I have in my notes is this guy. I've been a lumberjack for years, but I've never seen anything like this. I think I'll go home with my family and Emil. Okay, and if you read, mind read him. I'm a lumberjack, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. There's a pause there. There's actually a reference to Monty Python. I always thought there was something that I was a kid. I did not understand, like, I, just because of the way it pauses, and I'm okay with that, and made me think that there's something weird there. And yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a Monty Python song. Those are the direct lyrics from Monty Python, which is funny. Monty Python, Monty Python. Monty Python. I'm only a merchant, but I got turned into a tree just for staying here. I think I'll have the giant Zion now, south of the river. I'm a man again. Manifold! I wish I had grabbed some of the gems that fell from the sky. They must be worth a fortune! Uh, I'm sure that's what that guy in Vault is hoping for as well. The one with the giant gem on his table. Uh, how's our... oops. How's our health and stuff looking? Yeah, we should be okay. Who would try to use the holy tree to build a palace anyways? Uh, it's not called the Holy Tree for nothing! We should have been more respectful. No kidding. I'm told that the Holy Tree's rage causes horrible incident. Do you believe that was the only cause? Nope. I agree, something ch did change when the gems fell. So, yep, he's figuring it out. If the Holy Tree alone caused all this, I failed in my duty. I should have stopped them from cutting down the tree. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely- it was a combination, I guess, of them trying to chop down the tree. Hello, large-breasted woman. I turned to a tree right when the sparkles fell from the sun in the sky. I don't believe you, you're lying. The sparkles are falling again, heading for the hills. <laughs> um, come in, take a look at our weapons. Uh, ooh, so he, these guys actually sell broad axes now. Which will. Wow, 11 plus 11 plus 11 for you as well. Um, how about any artifacts? Nothing new. Alright, that's fine. <clears throat> uh, was there anyone upstairs? I don't think. The traveling warriors from the Goma Range saved the village. These warriors are said to be enormously huge and very strong. <laughs> They're they supposed to def uh, defeat Chet to remove the curse. I don't really know, but you should be able to tell travelers. Big strong warriors with great beards for you coming from the curse. If you see please take them for me. <laughs> oh, how the rumors have spread so very quickly. All the warriors are big, and all warriors have huge beards. <laughs> uh, I never. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Dad, will you please go back to being a lumberjack? No, my dad, he'll start working again if it gets heavy. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is the guy we saw in the mill. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I was, I was thinking about the guy in the inn here that says he's gonna go back to the mill. I'm never gonna use an axe again. People turn into trees because of my axe. I'll never use that axe again. What am I supposed to grow up if I don't eat? I'm not gonna feed me, I'm not gonna obey him. Uh oh. What the heck gonna eat if you don't work? There's other things to do, you know. Alright, I don't want to spend too much time here, we've already... Okay, so, something extremely interesting, well first of all this old man, don't blame the villagers for being tempted by McCoy's money, I don't want to be tempted by such a staggering sum. I've been poor all my life. That's why it bothers me that McCoy thinks money can solve everything. And there's a lot of NPCs that like, follow you after you talk, it's weird, because normally that means that like, kind of a, what they say is important, but not really. Hmm, my husband seems to be keeping a secret from me. A secret, eh? I've actually talked about this guy before. He found something valuable. Where could you be hiding it? Hey, tell me a secret! Oh, what is it? Still, tell me it's also the village doesn't help very much. Save Kalima? Wow, that makes me want to tell you a secret! But that not good? It's too good to give away. It's hidden. It's hidden deep in the forest, but I can't tell him that. Okay. So, last time I came and Ryan read him as a tree, he also talked about a treasure. Um, I guessed at the time that that was the Jin that they're keeping as a pet. 
That is incorrect. When you mine or eat him, it's hidden deep in the forest, but I can't tell it. So, if you remember, in that log rolling puzzle with the water floodgates, uh, when we solved it, we got this for coats. So you think, oh, that's gotta be the treasure you're talking about, right? That is also incorrect. Um, and the reason why this is, is because in, uh, ja in the Japanese original version of this game, he says a something a little bit different. He talks about the his secret uh, is, um, he says, okay, in the English game, we just mind it, he said it was in the forest, which makes you believe it's probably gonna be in uh, clean the forest, right? Well, in the original Japanese version of the game, he actually says it's to the forest to the west. So if we head west here and skip over that bridge, I actually saw this before and assumed there was nothing here, but so if you actually come over here and press A, I just checked on the grounds. I just got turtle boots! That is so cool. I don't know if I remember it or if I ever got this. Um, so, boost defense decreases agility. So, uh, what this does, you'll see agility 64 to 32, half. 38 to 19, half. It halves your agility, which is garbage. It only gives you three or four extra defense points. Not worth it at all. It's really just a sellable item. If, like, it might be worth it to give it to the Souls guy, because he's going to be slow anyways. I don't want to fight you guys. I don't want to fight like these world, world map number one guys that we're fighting right outside of Vale. I think we've grown a little more than that. <clears throat> so if we come back through here... Hey, you're that guy! Jill, are these the people who saved you? Remember me? I was that tree! I'd have been swept away down the river if it wasn't for you. Please, take this. It's a small token of my appreciation. Jill gave Isaac a special gift. Wrong. As a gut a heart that uh, that it, you I uh, does possibly. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you so much. <coughs> Wait, was that the girl? The guy nodded, so maybe you think he was talking. But what? 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 I'm confused. I really like this spot by the riverbank. My heart feels at peace. Well, it wasn't my idea to go pick per persimmons. I guess that's a type of berry. It was awful luck just being turned into trees just then. We just wanted to pick per or persimmons. Who knew what would happen? Oops, I meant to mind read. Wrong button! Who's the idiot to pick persimmons anyways? I'll think of you whenever I eat persimmons! <laughs> oh, these persimmons are just like my memory, so bitter. Um, so yeah, happiness. However, there is, like I said, you don't have to save this girl. So now, I'm gonna quickly cut to what happens when um, you don't save her. I heard we were once called the Gang of Three. But now that she's gone, we're just the Gang of Two. The poor girl. We worked so hard, if only we had been a little faster. If only we hadn't tried to get all those permissions, she'd still be... We'd never climb on each other's so shoulders again. A cruel world, we only just want to climb on one another's shoulders. And she's gone. Dead. Alright, so uh, yeah. It's a bit of a more sad thing. Um, hey, the barricade's been opened. Uh, oh, didn't mean that I wanted to actually go through the barricade. Yes, why didn't they just take it down? They could use those boxes. They could use that wood instead of chopping down trees. Good lloyd, uh, let's... No, never mind. I was gonna say, let's waste another sacred feather, but we're very close. We'll use it on our way back, I think. So we were gonna wanna go that way eventually anyways. Okay, uh, there's a lot to do here actually now. Um, by that, I mean just talk to people mostly. <laughs> I was trying to cheat for a while, can you believe it? I think I know now what it means to sink your roots in one place, but I don't want to wreck it to anyone else. If I want to be turned to a tree again, it was terrible. Yeah, that would suck. I feel like turn being turned to a tree would be ho even more horrible for someone with like claustrophobia or something. Um... Well, McCoy's men said they saw the ones who saved the village! The curse was broken, all thanks to the efforts of three young warriors. Oh boy, say you're not the young warriors, are you? That's amazing, you work the sour card class. Sure, Limo Quit will give you a great reward, I wonder will be. Ooh, I like the sounds of that. They must be reporting your deeds to Lord McCoy right now. Who's they? And how does everybody know I did this already? Um. If you're talking about travelers from a mill, they crossed the river. Oh! One of the two people that came later was apparently injured. Good. Deserved it. I'm talking about the tourists, obviously. <laughs> in case you catch up. I saw I saw Lord McCoy, the chief of Bilbin, walking through town for the first time in a long while. I must be relieved to see that curse has been broken. 
Alright, I'm already getting my notes mixed up here. Uh, Lord McCoy seems to be having a spat with his wife. I wonder who will win. Ooh, marriage fights due to us saving the world. I, I mean, that's bad. I always miss Alton in the winter. I used to work there in the mines, and the winters were always so warm. I wonder if there are still beautiful gems in Alton Mine. Fun fact, Alton means gold in Turkish. Now, my father says that he it's warm all, all year long on the other side of the river. I don't know why it's so hard for me to read. My father has traveled all over the world. I don't want to travel all over the world, but at the same time, I don't want to leave my house ever. Um, first house on the... Alright. Here's the, here's the big one. All these people. <laughs> what do you think that a head chef has changed? It's too much! Can you build his energy? Let's see, you serve the water, then get the silverware, the head chef will yell if you slow down. See, soup, salad, I forgot the dressing. I wish more like inns and stuff were like this in this game. This one's just bustling with all this activity. It's cool, I really like it. The head chef is so lazy until the day, but all of a sudden, I'm having trouble keeping up with how much he's changed. I don't remember at the, off the top of my head, I didn't mean to mind read her again, why the chef was depressed. Something about people turning the trees, I believe, or something about someone in the mill. I don't remember, I'm sorry. Two specials, one dinner, one sandwich, one dessert, hurry up! Hey, you, are you done yet? Almost. If, it, if you want a meal, speak to the waitress. You'll go to Klima when the customers are gone, but in the meantime, I'll cook like there's no tomorrow! Hey, maybe he's depressed while well, people turn the trees, I hope. <laughs> oh, that's it, I tried my best, but I couldn't eat another bite! The food is such a good, uh, it's such a good value at this price. Some meal, let all the food here. No. What? What are you talking to? What could be eating? <laughs> I like that a lot. They serve so much food today. If they do that every day, they don't make any money! There's no business here, so I'm heading to the river south of Xi'an. Perhaps I'll take Sil Silk Road as far as Tolby. We're seeing a lot of like names and stuff mentioned here. It's a big world, after all. When I stopped building the palace, I lost all my business. Maybe I'll buy some Silk of Xi'an and stop at Tolby. I'm a little surprised that the head chef is working so hard. Please take uh, them so long to serve you, but not anymore! Uh, right. There will be fewer guests now that the fuss is over. Whoever ended the curse should did not do any favors. Better for business the curse had been so evil. These guys are evil. They just care about money. They don't care about people turning the trees. Isn't that curse? You claim horrifying? Yeah. And heroes like you could feel fear. Just imagine how scary it is for his poor Tom folk. But if you read his mind, he speaks a different tone. Well, I was only acting scared so I'd fit in. I wasn't really scared. Evil! He just wants money! This guy says something interesting. I wonder what that eerie howling coming from the south of the river was. It really gave me the heebie-jeebies. Looks like scary things are happening all over the world. Yup. So, um... Things are getting spoopy here. Okay. I'm gonna probably have to stop this in before we actually leave town here. Um, -do 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 -do. okay, that's all the people I really I wrote down here to talk to outside of town. I'm sure there's more. What do you say? Those three kids vanishing all the trouble with the curse. Oh, the the three kids at the way. the gang of three. There we go. Yeah, they're called the gang of three. What you guys knew since I cut the clip in between this, but I recorded that a little bit ago. The gang of three. Ha! They're probably just doing those in somewhere. Another bad kid. That would be much more sad to read, knowing that the one girl is probably dead. I hear the barricade gate that blocked the road is open to clean again. Apparently, just anyone could waltz through that barricade. <laughs> yep. That was Lady McCoy. Oh, it's... Oh, sir! We've been looking everywhere for you! The curse of the Holy Tree. You're the ones who broke it, right? You're under our arrest! Uh-oh. Let's go. Lord McCoy's waiting. Um, uh, oopsies, I've made a- oopsies? We brought the warriors, my lord. My lady? So, you are the we, I mean, brave lads that I've met before. What were your names again? He's Isaac, sir, and I'm Garrett. I, I'm called Ivan. And I'm Mia, from the village of Emil. Isaac and Campany. <laughs> and did I not decline your offer when we first met? You sure did, buddy. I didn't, eh? Give it enough consideration back then. And yet, you what own to break the curse despite my raids, did you not? 
I sure did. I humbly thank you. I was worried, but... Wait, what? Is this... No, it's not local. I, I was worried, but you might not stop here on your way back. I want to share my appreciation for your help. I think actually McCoy still said the best portrait wasn't there. Weird. I laid in my money, but I forgot to put my people's needs. That reminded me of my duties. I was lower of these lands. I will do my best on everyone's behalf. Isaac, it would honor me greatly if you, if you had accept the wee token of my gratitude. This is another hard nut. <laughs> I could give it to you here, but it would. But would you no rather choose it yourself? Sure. Very well. You can choose something that'll help you along your way. I'll show Isaac and his friends the way, my lord. Yeah, I see, he's a different speaking style. I think I think the game's actually glitched there. I think th that one thing you're supposed to have his portrait. Many thanks to you and to your companions as well. Wish me any time. You'll always find a warm hearth here. Yay! Everything's happy and fun. Follow me and I'll take you to the treasure room. Learn McCoy ordered that Isaac and his companies be brought here. Please show them the reward. <gasps> four treasure chests! Treasure chests! Treasure chests! You may select a single item from these among these four chests. Alright, so yes, you get one item. Each chest, it's not completely random, each of these chests does contain one thing, and I will show you guys what all, the, all of them are. I'm gonna choose the reward that I like the best though, which is on the far right here. Isaac got some water of life. Isaac gave the water of life to Garrett. You're always welcome to the palace of Lord McCoy. Alright, now I'm gonna cut and show you guys the rest of the treasures. Alright, so yeah, this one, <sighs> this is again by memory, a vial, a potion, and a side crystal. Let me try to open them now, which just is locked. Mwah, mwah. The word you, you word you received was indeed the greatest of treasures. Courageous people have the best of luck. You might read them. They're pretty nice to wear, but I think you were just unlucky. I don't want you to feel bad, so I'll tell you, so I'll tell you something good. So, you may be wondering, what did you say if we get the other treasures? He says the exact same thing. And when you might hear him, he says the exact same thing as well. So I tested that as well because I was really curious. But yep, the, he, he, there's nothing interesting at all. Um, he says nothing differently at all. We are going over the time here, but I do want to finish up Bilbin so we can start next episode with uh, some new stuff. It's looking grim and south of the Goma Range. Black clothes are looming if you're heading that way. Be prepared for rain. Rain, huh? You guarantee a good life, they say, in Bilbin under the trust of Lord McCoy. I wonder why they travel as warriors. Because we must save the world, the people of Bill will never forget your bravery. Wave oh we. So sorry for the warriors Lord McCoy hired. Um, my lord will have strong words for them if they ever come back. <laughs> or those warriors. I mean, they're not Superman like me. They have told me that I can I judge a man by his age and appearance. But I can I put a fig figure out how you got past the barricade. When did you when yeah did nay Ian have the key? <laughs> Good god, okay. I think that's the last time we ever talked about this entire game, so... Um, don't have to worry about doing that voice anymore. <laughs> Lena's very upset when she left the room, oh my. I can tell when she's upset, she always slams the door. Yeah, that's a pretty good way to tell when someone's upset. For once, my lord didn't let Lena McCoy push him around. He seems much more dashing. hee <laughs> hee. Oh my god. <laughs> so this man just gotta put his foot down, and oh, what a man. Alright, calm down. Oh, for a second, I thought you were a lady. You really startled me. The whole this night gown has gotten bigger. Has someone else been wearing it? I just checked the wardrobe. This is something So, that's a weird thing to say. Has someone else been wearing it? Who else could be wearing it? No one else, like, says, like, my initial thought when I saw that was, is Lord McCoy, like, into that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. I was watching from here, after all that fuss, you still went to Klima? I don't know how you removed the curse, but you're the best, so yeah, this is actually the guy who reported to Lord McCoy. You lie, I saw you walking through the barricade, and then I saw you again, coming back to you after the force turned green. Courageous warrior wouldn't think twice about being turned to a tree. So yeah, that was actually the soldier that saw me do all that, so that's cool. Lady McCoy is quite upset that the palace construction was halted, probably uh, won't want to approach her for a while. How'd you receive a spectacular award? I hope that shows how nice Lord Mogwai could really be. That's good. I actually remember this 
be a little bit differently. I remember him refusing to give me a word, because I, I thought he got mad at me for, like, disobeying his orders, but you are a fine warrior. Sometimes we need to change your mind for his own response. I like this. This guy, like, he's up on the tower as well, facing E, so he most likely saw us, um, uh, cure the force as well, but, like, he doesn't really make a big fuss about it like the other soldier did. He just says it and then moves on. You could never have gone to the village of Kalima knowing the danger. You're truly courageous warriors. Don't leave, Isaac. Be my mentor. Teach me to be brave. <laughs> be a reliable warrior like Isaac is the companions. You think I can become a final warrior as you? Yeah, it's be nice. Really? I'll try my best. What if you say no? Oh, don't be so harsh. Just say yes if you don't mean it. <laughs> my palace is not finished. But Koi loves that holy tree more than he loves me. I hate you. Say stop construction so I would not be cursed. I think it's just trying to weasel out of his promise. Wow. You know, just cut down different trees that don't belong to a holy forest. Oh, the curse has been broken. Why don't we start construction again? We'd be working uh, if we hadn't tried building that using a holy tree. I told him not to use it. It's over. Over. My lord decided not to build that palace. That was close. That you know, cursed palace really looks bad on your resume. <laughs> uh, right. Did resumes exist back then? I highly doubt it. Anyways, that's pretty much everything of importance. Let's quickly run over my notes here to make sure. Um, yep, that's it. Alright, cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the next episode, I'm actually going to meet you uh, at Clean the Forest. That way you don't have to see me go through stupid battles, trudging back through the planes we've been through before. So thank you all very much for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye!